Fountain Hills, Arizona is a small community about 40 minutes from downtown Phoenix. When it was built by developers in the 1970s, I remember wondering, who on earth would live all the way out in the middle of the desert? Well, the developers obviously had more foresight than me. Scottsdale has grown so much that the only thing that separates it from Fountain Hills are the McDowell Mountains. Fountain Hills has become home for Arizonans that want a quieter lifestyle, but is also a sought after area for winter visitors. If you are interested in getting away from the bitter cold of winter, this is a great place to be. The town gets its name from the fountain that is in the heart of the city. It is one of the tallest man-made fountains and doubles as a water reclamation project. It is surrounded by a park with a sidewalk that circles the lake. And on one end of the lake, there are several shops and restaurants with excellent vistas for enjoying the fountain and the mountains. Fountain Hill's main draw is the natural beauty of its desert landscape and surrounding mountains. Although most of the town consists of residential property, there's a small downtown area. There is one main street in town called Avenue of the Fountains that has some lovely green spaces, park benches, and fountains. There are over 150 sculptures throughout the city, so the public spaces are quite beautiful. There is a museum, community center, and town hall that are central to the municipality. There are numerous hiking trails nearby that take advantage of the views. Here's my daughter and me enjoying the trails one day. There is also wildlife that can pass by from javelinas to grabbits. And if you like golf, there are at least six golf courses in the town. The Superstition Mountains, Four Peaks, and Red Mountain line the horizon. In the evening when the sun is setting, the mountains light up and change color. Fountain Hills sunsets framed by the mountains are quite glorious. Every night there is a new stunner. If you are considering a winter trip to Arizona, this is a beautiful place to land, but you need to know that it's a 20 to 30 minute drive to Scottsdale if you are interested in movies or more active nightlife. This town is very quiet in the evenings, although they do have periodic events. As a senior, I have come to appreciate the quiet beauty of this town. If you'd like to follow more of my senior and solo travel journeys, please subscribe. Cheers!